Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Analyzing My Subscriber. Today I have a Premier League team, I think. Um, I can't remember what team I did last, but uh, this is a Premier League team, so uh, let's get straight into it and let's start. We'll start from the back this time. So in goals we have uh, 84 uh, goalkeeper Peter Cech who plays for Chelsea, as a lot of you probably already know. Um, now Peter Cech is probably my favourite um, my favorite Premier League keeper, just because he saves so many goals. Um, Pepe Reina, I believe, is the highest rated with 85. Um, that's excluding in forms, obviously. But uh, for me, it's Peter Petr Cech, however you want to say it. And uh, he's he's an outstanding keeper. And uh, I think that's probably the reason why he went for him, because the price between uh, Petr Cech and uh, Pepe Reina isn't that, isn't that big of a difference. Well, on Xbox anyways. Um, so... So I I I can I kind of see him going unless he has a personal uh, admiring thing for uh, Petr Cech then I can I can see that this guy knew that he preferred uh, Petr Cech and uh, that's a good choice and I would take him over most keepers in the Premier League. Uh, anyway, let's go to the back four. Let's look at the two big guys in the middle, the centre backs. Um, we have John Terry, who is an 86. Personally, I wouldn't. He's a, he's quite expensive for a centre back. One because he is in the Premier League team. Uh, Premier League teams do cost a lot more just because they're in the Premier League. And uh, I, I mean, he he's a good he's a he's a good player, but um, I I don't know if I'd spend that much to have John Terry. Um, next to him, to his right, we have a company who is a great, great player. Um, he's really, really good in this game. He, he's got decent pace on him, which is important. And uh, I think he definitely chose a really good centre back there. And company isn't that expensive either. Uh, then just to the right of company, we have uh, Richards. And uh, I just want to put this out there. I was watching uh, a few Man City games, and Richards, like quadriceps, are huge. They are the biggest things you have ever seen. His shorts are like spandex. It's so it's unbelievable. The guy's a beast. And um, uh, right back, he is expensive though, just because I think he's a fast right back and he's really really muscly and strong. So he's gonna push up uh, most attackers. Anyway, let's uh, look all the way over to the left, the left wing back here. Um, we have a uh, cliche. And uh, he's also very fast. I have him in my Premier League team. He's really quick and he does the he does damage. He he does uh, keep up with all of them. He's got good strength and he's a good all round player. He now plays for Man City, so that badge needs to change from Arsenal scum to uh, Man City. And um, that's a sly dig at KSI. Anyways, um, let's move. Uh, let's move up into the midfield now we'll just go up the line there to uh, Young who now plays for Manchester United and he's looking really promising uh, for Manchester United he looks like he's settling re in really well but we're here to talk a bit more about FIFA not real life and um, so on the left wing we have uh, Young and he's really quick he's really fast and I think that's why he's gone with him I guess I mean there's a lot of uh, controversy about uh, British Premier League teams uh, being tramp teams and how you can make them trampy this isn't really a tramp team um, I mean, I, I don't like it when people call them tramps teams. I mean, I find it funny, but uh, I don't have a problem with people using, yes, it's really abusive of pace, like pace is abuse, but it's um, it's a fun team to use, I'm not going to lie. So uh, so Young's really good, and his crossing is, uh, is pretty good, and that's what you want in a winger. Moving over into the middle, we have Milner, who plays for City. He's probably one of the more weaker links in this team. Someone like Samir Nasri. Um, he'd probably be better in the middle there. That's who I personally would have. Maybe the 84 if you can't afford the 85 version. Um, the things like that. But um, he's personally the weak link. But uh, I know he's got great long shots. So maybe he's going for long shot goals. I'm not sure. But uh, th that's a decent choice. He's not. My, he, I, that's not who I would have. I would have someone like Nasri. But uh, he's got great long shots. So maybe use him for that. Then to the right of him, we have uh, Mikel Arteta, who has the best, well, not the best, because him and Honda have great free kicks. Um, his, this uh, Arteta's free kicks are just out of this world. They're really, really good. He's got 86, like 85, 86. Those are his stats for the free kicks. Um, he's a fantastic player and a decent passing and very cheap as well. He's a cheap player and um, that's what you want to have. Uh, in the midfield especially with this sort of because this is more of a budget team really I wouldn't say this was that expensive uh, nonetheless a great team uh, on the right we have uh, Aaron Lennon who plays for Tottenham who is just all about pace uh, similar to uh, Young so he's obviously decided instead of having someone like Valencia who is still quick he just really wants to pass it out to those wings and cross it in and uh, with Anelka he's quite tall I wouldn't say he's got the best header on him so I mean if you were looking to have that sort of tactic someone like 
Um, I, the old Adebayor, I would say, but the non-Real Madrid one, um, I would uh, the Man City one. But I don't know if you can still get him. But he'd be perfect to have up there. Um, but yeah, that's if you're if you're gonna have those sort of tactics, I recommend you have a big target man up front with uh, when you're playing two up front like that. If you want the fast wings, that's just uh, something I've found that works for me in experience. Um, then uh, the two guys up front, we have uh, Chicharito or Hernandez, um, and we also have Anelka. Both really good, although I wouldn't have Hernandez in the game. Despite him being an absolute beast in real life, in this game, I don't think it reflects as well. Because remember, this is FIFA 11, so this was a long time, abo long time ago before Hernandez really came into the scene and proved himself to be a really top-class striker. So, personally, I would swap him out. Maybe get um, Big Baliotelli or Ladiotelli, as some people call him. <laughs> I think he's a really funny player. Yes, he's an asshole, I know, but he's just class to watch. He's always up to doing something, you know what I mean? So, as far as entertainment value, Bal uh, is a, Balotelli is a fantastic player. Um, and then, so maybe someone like him up front, uh, you could have Bent, but then you might get called a tramp, you know, you gotta just weigh up those sort of things. You might lose some reputation there, but Bent is an animal in this game with his 88 pace and strong and great finishing. Anelka, I think, you know, I, he's underrated in this game, uh, in the fact that not a, not a lot of people give him um, enough credit in this game. He is good in this game, and I like, uh, and I like having him in the team, so uh, to be honest, I'd leave him there. You could always swap him out. You could put Defoe in there. You know, whatever you wanted. But uh, I think he, I think he's made a good choice there by having an Elka. Uh, then formation four four two classic British formation. Really, um, it, it seems he seems like it works for him. He's got hundred chemistry, perfect everything pretty much. He's got a manager there, four four two like I said, and uh, an eighty one rated team. So it's a great team. And uh, if any of you guys are looking for a British Premier League team, this is one to look out for. It's a great team. It's got the pace. It's got good center, strong middle pack, the abdominal of the team, and uh, two good players up front, despite Hernandez being a bit shifty in this game. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching. I'll probably be doing a live stream today sometime, so if you're interested, there will be a link to, um, to my Twitter and Facebook where I announce that sort of stuff. But uh, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. I hope you could like this video, and I would much appreciate that. Hope you've had a good day, and see you guys in a bit. Bye-bye.